My name is Dan Schnur. I'm the warden at the Hutchinson Correctional Facility. Been here for 37 years. I started in 1985 as a correctional officer. My name is Elizabeth Allen. I am a special agent for the EAI department. We take care of everything from contraband to smoking to fentanyl to death investigations, writing our own warrants. My name's Jordan Bell. I'm currently the major chief of security here at Hutchinson Correctional Facility. Working here has changed me, and then you just see the overall picture of what Corrections in the state of Kansas is trying to do. Corrections is probably the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. When you start here, typically, you have no idea what you're getting into. When I started here, when I walked in the door, it wasn't what I expected. It was better. It's one of those things where you get it or you don't, and it's not for everybody. This is not an easy profession, especially for a female. The lifestyle is not for everybody, but that lifestyle is very productive. It's a part of me. It takes people a while to understand that it could become a career. It's a positive place to work. There are some negative points, but it's the employees, the staff, that can turn that negative environment into a positive one. I came from California as an ex-drug addict. I had just gotten out of rehab, spent a lot of years wasting my life, and my dad was actually out here. He had retired from Chuckawalla Prison and said, like, you can live here, you have to work, and you can't do drugs. And by that time, I was done doing drugs. So I stayed with him, and I started working at Chili's. I had never worked a straight job. I didn't have a GED. I didn't have any aspiration. And he said, why don't you go and work at the prison? And I laughed at him. There was no way that I was gonna go and work at the prison. Uh, and he said, well then just keep making the money that you're making. I went and took myself to night school and I came in with my GED in hand the day that I got it and did the test, got the test and was hired the same day. When I started here, I was a lock em up, throw away the key guy. But after a while, you realize these guys are getting out. You have to try to get them to think differently about themselves and about how they affect their families and how they affect their communities. What we see is a lot of these people don't have that opportunity growing up. 95% of the residents in here are going home and they're gonna be our next door neighbors. And we wanna provide them with that pro-social behavior, give them the education that they may have failed to do. People make bad decisions, but how can we teach them to change that way of thinking? What you learn here is you learn how to communicate. You have to learn how to communicate with everybody to be effective. It's not what we see in the media. We're trying to here to make a difference, not only in the lives of the residents, but in the lives of the people that we work with. And those employees and the staff that we work on a daily basis are truly are a family. We're so close up there that we know that if I needed anything in the middle of the night, I know I could call any of them or their family. We get together on Thursday evenings and we have a family dinner. The people treat you really, really well here. It's very unique to us, and we take a tremendous amount of pride in that family aspect that we've got each other's backs. Corrections is something that grows on you, gets in your blood. You work hard here and you play hard here. Really, it is a tremendous place to work. It's provided me with a lifelong career. I'm not going anywhere. A place that I can be prideful of, that I'm not afraid to say, yeah, I work for Hutch Correction Facility. You sow a seed every single day. There's nothing that's ever the same. That they come here, it's not an additional punishment. They're here to do their sentence. They need to do so safely. It makes you be grateful for stuff that I've been through and helps me to know that whatever I do next in correction is going to be my next favorite thing. I feel like I've come full circle from being a drug addict and having nothing to doing investigations and working with top-notch people. So I've worked really hard to get where I'm at. I want to make this facility the best I can. And at the end of the day, when they fly that state flag at the front of the facility on your retirement day and they hand it to you, you can look back and go, yeah, I, I made a difference.